Section 3.3a is about solving using multiplication. We're going to continue to solve equations, but this time we're going to add multiplication to, our, to the mix instead of just addition and subtraction. Here we're going to use the multiplication property of equality. It's just like the other two properties of equality that we learned. It says that you can multiply both sides of an equation by the same number and the equation stays true. So let's look at that in action. Here we're going to practice some equations that we solve using multiplication. So here, because we want to isolate the unknown again, another way of saying that is get the variable by itself. Right now, the 3 is connected to the variable with division. Well, how do you eliminate division? You use multiplication, the opposite um, operation. So I'm going to multiply the left side and the right side by 3. Use parentheses to show multiplication. Now, the reason we do that is because when you have a, a number on the top of a fraction and the bottom, they will cancel, which is what we wanted to happen. We wanted the x to be alone. 5 times 3 is 15. So the solution to this equation is x equals 15. Let's do another example. Again, isolating the t here, I have to get rid of a division of 30, which means I'm going to multiply both sides by 30. 30 will cancel, leaving just the t. Over here, 30 will cancel with the 10, leaving a 3. And then 7 times 3 will be 21. Now I'm going to do one more that involves a fraction, just to show you some special uh, steps that we have to take in a fraction. Um, let's do it on another page. Here we have mixed numbers. Um, I, I think these are a lot easier if you turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions, so I'm going to do that. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 3 is 27, and we put that over 8. So this is really a negative 27 over 8 times k. And this is 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, and we put that over 5, so this is really a 9 fifths. Now this is a special step that we can use. Because we're multiplying the k times a fraction, um, we can multiply this fraction by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of negative 27 over 8 is 8 over negative 27. It's taking the fraction and flipping it. So I'm going to do that. And what happens is the canceling of the 8 happens, the 27s cancel, and the signs cancel, leaving you with just the k. And then over here, you treat the fraction like normal. 3 goes into 9 three times. Actually, 9 goes into 9 one time. And 9 goes into 27 three times. 8 times 1 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15 with a negative because a negative times a positive is a negative. So in this case, you end up with negative 8 over 15. And you can do that when you're multiplying a variable by a fraction. You can multiply by its reciprocal. Take the fraction and flip it. One other special one to look at is negative y equals 6. If you have a negative in front of a variable, one way that you can get rid of that negative, because it's really a negative 1 being multiplied, is you can multiply that by another negative 1. And what happens is the negatives will cancel, because a negative times a negative is a positive, so you end up with y equals negative 6. That's another special condition to solving equations with multiplication.